Okay, so some people are, are sure that they want to be front of house engineers. Um, some people are sure that they want to be system techs. They don't want to mess with the mixing. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are not sure yet, uh, what's a good place for them to start? <laughs> that's a that's a that's really interesting. Um, you know, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I didn't want it. I never wanted to be a front of house human, but um, uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I also enjoy doing monitors, and that's more of a challenge. I think if we were going to come up with just a litmus test, if I wanted to ask, if in five minutes I was going to determine whether you're a front of house monitor engineer or, or, or system tech. Let me think about it. the first thing I would do is get, say give you a task of three things and then yell at you for doing two of them wrong. And if you focused on the one you did right and you were, were fixing the other two, you're a good monitor engineer. If um, if uh, all of that traumatizes you, if I told you that no matter how good of a job you do, you will never get it right and someone's still going to hate you but you might have fun doing it, you might be a good front of house engineer. Yeah. Because you're never gonna make everyone happy. Um, if I don't give you any feedback at all, and you just do your thing and I don't say anything, it, I don't give you any comment up or down, that's more front of house. If you'd rather be told, yes, that's good, or no, that's bad, you, more monitors, you know, because you want that direct communication, you need someone to, um, you know, to tell you where you're at. You don't have this constant flow of uh, self-worth, regardless of what people say. And if you need things, if you have the desire or a desire, strong desire to be able to do things right and master them, get them perfect every time and actually accomplish it, you're probably going to be a better tech. If you're OK, knowing that no matter how many battles you win, you will always lose the war, you will always front of house, no matter how perfect you mix, you will never get to album quality. The room will always take you out. There's always something wrong. Whereas you can wire a stage perfectly. You can have every channel working. You can have everything in the right spot and functioning. And you've done your job. If the room sucks, that's not your problem. You can tune it as best you can, but that's not, you can slough that on someone else. The front of house engineer has to do the best with something that's unsolvable. They can only be dealt with pretty well. And a monitor engineer has just got that much more dynamic thing where you can have a shit show or a great show and not necessarily in control, but very personality re related. So I think those dynamics, I didn't necessarily explain it as clearly and I'll put more thought into it, but. No, I, I think the, it made sense. Yeah it's, yeah, it's how are those, you satisfied by your work, right? Yeah, what, what, what are you looking for as far as satisfaction? Do you need a, hey, you did it perfect, nailed it, a tech, is good or a monitor engineer good okay you totally s screwed this up are you going to argue that point because you did it right you're never going to make it as a monitor engineer you might make it as a tech because a tech is you did do it right and you can argue the point the monitor engineer has no sense arguing you did it wrong because they feel you did it wrong not because you actually did it wrong yeah a monitor engineer has got to have 50 percent emotion 50 percent reality and uh, a tech can go 100 percent reality and a front of house engineer has to be pretty much sure of themselves whether they do it right or wrong and just it's a big smushy world yeah and which one are you i'm a bit of all of them in some ways um i don't like getting yelled at by the band but um i'm okay with it you know i just the front of house thing i like the front of house i actually like front of house i like things that are unsolvable i like the fact that there is no correct solution. I like complex situations with overlapping interactive variables and finding the optimum trajectory through that maze, even though there is no correct trajectory through that maze. One thing I heard you say that was really um, interesting to me was that that takes a big load off. You know, The problems that are impossible to fix will not be fixed, but we're gonna do everything we can to fix the problems we can. Don't worry about the things so, beyond your control. Yeah, figure, out what your, figure out your scope of your actions, what it contains, and then optimize it. 